all, I'm Logan from the Backwoodsman's Institute. Today's video will be talking about bow fishing. Not just any type of bow fishing, but what I like to call fish hunting. And what I mean by that is whenever I go bow fishing, I go shore stalking. I'm walking along the edges trying to sneak up on any type of rough fish in that body of water that I, I can legally take with a bow. Now, the most abundant type of rough fish in our area is the common carp. And where I like to go fish hunting, like I say, because I get to practice, one, my archery skills, taking a fish with a bow, and two, my hunting skills, because I'm sneaking up on that fish while it's feeding or, or mudding around, whatever, let me know that it's there. I can sneak up to get a closer shot. So that's what I like to do. Now, there's a couple different things you can do once you harvest that carp with your bow. People in the United States view carp as a trash fish. They don't want to eat it. But however, across the pond, Europe and Asia, they view it as a delicacy. So that's one option, you can eat it. Now there's a lot of special procedures you have to take in order to flay out a carp, and that's a whole different topic. Another thing is, a lot of people run trap lines around my area, and that's a source of income for them so they can pay their bills You know, when money gets tight. But what you can do there, you can chop your carp up in pieces, put it in the deep freeze, and use it for bait on your trap lines whenever it's trapping season. So there are a couple different options that you can do with your carp once you harvest it. Now like I said before, when you're shore stalking, you're practicing your hunting skills and your archery skills. Your archery skills being you have to hit a small target. Now the way the carp appears in the water is not actually where that carp is in the water. It's a thing called light refraction. All right. So when you're aiming at a carp with your bow, you got to aim underneath them. Now if he's showing you his fin and stuff on his backs out of the water, you can aim just at the surface of the water to hit his back. But if he's submerged, you gotta aim low. And that's something that, ha that comes with practice. I can't sit, sit here and tell you a measurement because the different depths they are in the water, the, the lower you have to aim. So it all comes with practice. It's something you'll have to figure out if you find this interesting and you wanna go try it yourself. Now in this video right here, you're gonna see a segment of bow fishing videos. Me and my buddy David Hellman, we went after work a few nights here, here recently, and we put together some of the best shots that we got on camera. So I hope you guys like it. It's very fun. I mean, it's a perfect way to practice for deer season. Anything you, any archery, whatever, you go fishing at the same time, it's a blast. Hope you guys like it and try it out. Catch you in a bit. buddy. See that other one out there? Right there, there's one feeding in the grass. Good shot, buddy. Hold the trigger and pull him in. Pulled off. We have connected.
good shot, but Yeah. Which one are you going for? Frums. Frums. He's right there. See the mud cloud? The bubbles? Yeah, see his tail? Pick him up. Yeah. <laughs> Good shot, bud. I think you can get closer, dude. That's a far shot. A few more steps. Let me see where you shot him at, through the gills. Yep. <laughs> right, there's one over here. Get it in quick. Hurry right up, they're over here. Flex your toes. <laughs> There's three of them. I know, there. I'm stuck. <laughs> no, don't do it that way. <laughs> Turn it down. I can't, son. I'm sinking down. <laughs> <laughs> your boots are full. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get him in. Good shot. <laughs> 